Hello everybody. In today's lab cast I'm going to show you how to create a via hole in a planar microwave circuit in our microwave lab. Um, a via hole is a structure that provides a contact from the upper layer of the microwave circuit to the lower layer of the microwave circuit. And the lower layer is uh, usually a ground plane. The via is usually realized drilling a hole into the microwave substrate and then placing a metal rivet into it such that uh, the contact is provided between the upper layer and the lower layer. So you can see also in the cross section uh, the yellow structure is my rivet and the rivet uh, has contact to the lower layer which is the ground here and also to the upper layer which is my uh, um, microwave line. Well there are three steps involved in order to uh, realize the via hole. First we have to drill a hole into our board using a 0.9 millimeter drill bit. Second we have to place the via hole rivet into the hole and third we have to use a little uh, rivet press to press the rivet uh, that provides the contact to the upper and the lower layer. In the next uh, video I show you how to, this is done in our microwave lab and how you can do it yourself. Step one, let's drill a hole through the circuit. Um, we have to fix a 0.9 millimeter drill bit into the drill press. Then we start the drill press uh, at about half the maximum speed. Adjust the circuit such that the via hole is exactly under the drill. And press down the drill press. Once the drill bit touches the circuit, you never ever move the circuit again, otherwise you will uh, break the drill bit. So that's it already. The next step is to place the rivet and press the rivet into the circuit. We need our 0.6 mm rivets from Favorite. This is a close-up of the rivet press and the circuit with a hole. Here are two rivets. I pick one rivet with a big flat side down and place it onto the little pin on the lower side of the machine. Now we place the circuit over the rivet. Which size goes up uh, doesn't really matter. And now we slowly move down the press and press once, release, and now we see that the rivet is placed and on both sides it's welded down. 